Hello, and today we are going to be talking about what kids are doing today in the world. Um, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a difficult time in the world right now, and we are all cooped up. So what we're doing today, you're going to find out. Kids today, my name is Hakeem Brown, and this is Pop City Culture. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother... Welcome to the most listened to international podcast around the world. Hakeem and Reggie Brown are two young African-American boys speaking the truth. This is Pop City Culture. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Reggie Brown, and yeah, we got we got a really good show for you today. I, I can't believe it, man. You know, we're doing our show outside because we have been cooped up inside. Oh my God, it feels like it has been for like a million years. Anyways, I'm going to pass the baton off to my brother so he can get the show started. And here he is, the one and only legendary Hakeem Brown. Thank you for that uh, enlightening intro, Reggie. So that's right. You know, today we're going to be talking about what kids are doing today. You know, and and kids of today, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So, who would have ever thought, Reggie, that the world would be the way it is today? Man, brother, I know I wouldn't have thought it. I mean, you got to be kidding with the pandemic. I know, given and this stuff, pandemic, I know it's like out of control. You know, I, what I'm I don't saying? know what the difference is between pandemic and epidemic is, but in any case, they I both probably, sound horrible. Let her in. Oh my God, you know? and. Mm -hmm. That being said, you know, we do want to tell our audience listeners that right now we are outside. Uh, we're in a park enjoying the weather. So if you hear some stuff in the background, like the wind or airplanes. Man, that's right. we getting in tune with nature, my brother. Definitely going to hear some wind. We, we don't have what's called a uh, cat. I think, I think it's called. Cat what, mic. What, what's it called, Reggie? It's a cat mic. A, a cat on a the mic. A cat mic. What, aren't you it's listening? This furry yeah. thing that makes sure Jeez, that the wind doesn't really blow too hard. But. What, what? You know, you're still going to be able to listen to us, and you're going to hear us, because we we enjoy doing the show, and we actually wanted to bring our show outside, because, you know, like we said, kids today, we have been cooped up inside for how long, Reggie? Like a million years, you know? Oh, come on, Reggie. It hasn't... <laughs> Reggie. Yeah, it's been like a million years. Reggie. Feels, feels like a million on, years. No, Reggie. No, yes. Reggie. It hasn't been like a million yep, years. Yep. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's only been about... Well, it's been over a year, I guess. But, but feels like, anyways... Feels like a million years. Um, we are... Very happy to be outside. I'm very happy to be Feel outside. Feel the wind. Across our face. On our face. That's what I just said, The brother. sun on our skin. Man, I ain't got to say that. And to actually just... breathe in some fresh oh, air. You know, we, we haven't really been outside too much, have we, Reggie? No, we haven't, man. We've been cooped up inside. Seems like we're in our mat. You got word on the inside, too. It's, it's, it's unbelievable, man. How long is this thing going to be going on? So, huh? Reggie, you know. What, 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 you, what, what, what? You know, in case people in the future are listening back to the podcast, you know, <laughs> I'm sure our podcast is going to be around for the next, what, how many years? Million years, baby. Okay, Reggie, you know, Reggie, do you just inflate these numbers just <laughs> no. to inflate them? It's like you're no. adding like a, what, a million, million zeros to them. <laughs> Anyways, a trillion zeros. You know, how, how about a trillion? I'm, I'm thinking like 50 years. You know, if they go back in some kind of an archive and they say, hey, what happened on that Pop City Culture podcast and, and what's going on? You know, we could actually see people and hear what's going on. So, you know, in case people want to look back or are listening right now, which is what they're doing, millions and millions of people all over the world. Yeah, because, you know, we're international now. <laughs> we're going big time. Yes, Reg <laughs> yes, Reggie, we are finally international and yeah, here's on right. a lot of radio stations. Mm -hmm. So, what? we're talking about kids today. Yep, we are, sure. So, you know, I, I know one thing that kids today, we are always on our phones. Ain't nothing wrong with that, brother. What yeah, you mean? Everybody is on their phones. And I'm thinking they're on their phones because, you know, this is what we do now. Part of life. Now, man, and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, we are like connected. We are like the technology tech kids. We are t tech kids. That, that, how's that sound, Reggie? Man, it sounds like you're absolutely right, man. We are high tech. Yep. You know what I'm so saying? So, being a technology mm -hmm. tech generation, yep. uh, we have our phones and we have our video games and we have our computers. And I, I just can't believe how everything has pretty much um, exploded as far as technology, especially with the COVID. Um, going on right now. A lot of people have created brand new things 
like you know, our podcast, which is how we got started from the COVID because we were home and we weren't going to school. That's right, man. And that gave us the best opportunity to start this up, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is like a dream come true. Because what, you know, what, what's going on is now we're being homeschooled. And since we're being homeschooled, um, we, we do everything on the Internet. And, you know, we, we, we get to learn a lot. So what's going on with the Internet is, I, you know, we have some friends, and we talk to them through the Internet. You know, we, we text them, we do video chats. Play video games too, man. Don't forget the video games, I'm Being saying. Being homeschooled, it has been difficult, especially for my brother, Reggie. Oh, man, why you got to go there? Why you got to throw all my business all out there like that? Just throwing it out there like a rice throwing up in the air on a wedding, man. That ain't even right, yep. man. So what's going right. on is... Man. I'm not even sure if, if, if homeschooling for kids is a very good thing because when you're homeschooled, you don't really get that one-on-one -on -one contact with the teachers. You usually, usually get a, a better education, I feel, when you have that one-on-one, -on -one, when you can actually go into school and talk to the teachers. I know you do, right, Reggie? Man, of course I like the one-on-one -on -one relationship. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's getting yep. So, you know, when it comes to the schools, I, I personally like to have that one-on-one -on -one, uh, personal relationship when it comes to schools and teachers. I'm not sure if the teachers really want to go back to the schools. So, I mean, who would want to go back if you're like an adult and you get paid? And Yo, man, maybe it's the COVID thing. You know what I'm saying? Reggie, I know it's about the COVID thing, too, and they're probably scared to go back, but they're getting their shots. But, you know, that's a whole other story. Anyways, um, so today, you know, we don't even get to see our friends um, when we, you know, we can't even go to the parks and, and play. Because, because with this COVID thing, you know, if you touch anything, it's always got to be sanitized. And we're, and we're not sure exactly how that goes. Um, yeah, you have to spray stuff down. You have to wipe it down. And so, you know, outside of that, outside of not going to the parks, Reggie and I love to play basketball. Yo, man, I, I definitely love to play basketball, man. I am like the king of the court, the boom diggity on there, yep. man. Like and, the king. And, and, you know, when we yep. play basketball... I mean, you uh -huh. have to remember, what? we end up touching the ball, so you have to... Sanitize um, it, man. You, you know, when, when you touch the ball, you have to sanitize it. That's what I just if said. If you don't sanitize the ball, oh, then, really? you know, you touch your face or something, and you, you, you will get sick. But in, in any case, you know, basketball's out. Unless, Reggie, weren't you watching basketball... Um, a couple days ago. Yeah, man, I was watching on cable, you know, sitting down and chilling. Well, you know? I don't, were they wearing their mask? Yeah, uh, no, they weren't wearing their mask on, on the court. Yeah, maybe no. it's different with the athletes. Well, the athletes probably get tested with the COVID all the time. I'm not really sure, but in any case, you know, this is this is how it is. What's going on now? So, you know, it's you know, it seems like now, <laughs> with you know, with with the COVID and stuff going on. Um, kids today, we are just stuck listening to, uh, well, we're on our phones, and we watch a lot of TV, and, uh, and what else do we, yes, we play video games too, yes, yes, yes. Now, the whole thing is, my dad, um, he was telling us what he would do when he was a kid. Oh man, he was telling us how he'd be going down to the creek, catching like polywags and riding his bike and stuff. Well, when he was a kid. You know? He said he would um, go to the parks. Yep. Mm -hmm. And when he went to the parks, he would play baseball. Yep. Um, basketball. He'd do basketball. He, you know, he would run around and you know sit on the side of a hill and just stare at stare at the clouds. Yeah, you know, I man, ain't nothing wrong with staring at the clouds. I love staring at the clouds, man. You see a lot of things. Reggie, you know what I'm do you ever stare at the clouds? I, because, I just said you know, I there's didn't. a lot of things you can see in oh the clouds as God. far as making pictures I just said and that. seeing things. You don't listen to me, man. I swear do, you do, do not. You do stuff like that? Yes, I just said I do. I look at the clouds, I see if there's pictures in them and all that good stuff, man. Well, you know, Reggie, maybe you should be doing your homework too, huh? Man, <laughs> Reggie, man, I'm, I'm just playing. Man. I'm just Reggie. Calm ridiculous. down. No, calm I think down. I'm calm down. Come on, come on, come on. You always gotta okay. come on my case. All right, whatever. moving right along. Good, moving. So you know, schools have a lot of programs. Now, let's say you were um, in in a, a what is that like course, a, a school course. If you're in a school course, you know, then you would sing. You would have projects do, and you would give on give concerts. Now, the fact that you give concerts means Everybody would be there, but now says with the COVID, nobody can be there because concerts are strictly out. And since they're out, you know that's another thing um, we can't do today. But my, you know, my dad said, you know, he, he was in chorus and they, they, they did a whole lot of concerts and they even had school trips. They definitely had uh, some school trips, though. You know, Dad would always tell us 
a whole bunch of little trips that he went on with his school. You know, he said he'd be having a whole lot of fun. They'd be chilling out, bringing their lunches, wrapping up soda cans and tin foil, freezing the can overnight. <laughs> I mean, how you do that stuff? Hey, 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 why don't you tell me about one of his trips? Yeah, go, my, go on, my go dad on. said he went on a school trip where there was a pond. And uh, him and his friends went to the pond. One of his friends fell in the pond, I guess. Oh, that's, that's too funny, man. And then uh, it, it started to rain. And then they got lost in the woods. But they ended up finding everybody. So Well, that's good, I guess, you know. You know I mean, I they, these are just some really cool memories. My dad tells me and my brother that, you know, things that happened when they were kids, which is really cool because everybody wants to have fun when they're kids. I, I don't think we're really having too much fun as kids. Are you having fun, Reggie? Heck yeah, man. I ain't got to go to school, man. I get to watch TV all day, man. And, you know, you know, all that good but Reggie, stuff. Reggie, don't you think there's more to life than just video games and no, the man, internet and stuff like you, that? Don't you ever want to go outside? Man, what are you, nuts, man? There's bugs out there, man. You could get eaten alive, man, like piranha bugs, man. <laughs> okay, Reggie, ahead, just man. because there's bugs outside doesn't mean you can't go outside. You know, you can always put bug spray on. Man, bug spray, man, that stuff don't even work. I don't even bother putting that stuff on my skin. Because one time I did, man, I used to put that stuff on, like, lotion. It never worked. Never again am I going to waste my time Re- putting Re- that stuff Re- on I, again. You know what, man, Reggie, actually, I, I do remember um, when we were little, we went away to camp. Uh-huh. And I remember, you know, we had, we were out in the field for like a field day and you were getting attacked by mosquitoes well thank you for bringing up that memory man down memory oh lane my, oh my oh my god you i never seen so many you must have had like like mosquito attraction on it or i don't know what it was but they were just eating you up wait a minute you didn't have any bug spray on did you because you just said you don't like bug spray man i don't like bug spray you know reggie, then you brought it on yourself didn't man, you what you're saying is my fault bugs are biting reggie, me okay whatever reggie man, but in any case, man, you know, you did you, get stung man. by by a wasp in the back of the neck. I do remember that. Man, just when I thought I was going to forget a memory like yep. that, you got to come bring it back up again. Man. Yeah, getting Thanks. stung Thank by you. bees are not a good thing. And so, you know, my you know my dad, you know, now this is my dad's generation. So, which was, so we're going to be talking about the past. His past, I hope. The past generation, he, um, you know, he would talk about how when he had a graduation, everybody was there. And I know nowadays it's very hard to have any kind of a graduation because of the COVID thing. People just can't gather. And if you do, you have to wear a mask. You have to be six feet apart. And there's all these protocols. Although they do have the COVID vaccine, um, and uh, we, we haven't actually got it yet. Um, but... You know what? I'm hearing that that they want to make it mandatory. Oh, man. Now we talk about some Aurelian stuff, man. Make it mandatory. Why they want to do that stuff, man? People don't trust the vaccine anyways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, uh, you know, a lot of people are saying that's an infringement on your rights. Um, I don't know if it's civil rights or bill of rights or whatever it is, but, you know, I know it's a constitutional right. I mean, something, but I'm, I'm hearing a lot of places might make you verify that you had the vaccine by showing some kind of a, a, a COVID passport. Say what? Man, say it ain't so, man. Forcing people now? Man, my body, my right. Jesus. Or a card. Which, which they do have a card because our, our grandmother, she ended up getting the COVID shot and they gave her a card. Um, she didn't get sick from it or anything, which is really good because, you know, from what we hear, a lot of people tend to get sick and that that's not good. You know, if, if you get the shot and then you get sick, to get sick, you know, after you get a shot, that's not that's not right. I know I don't want to get sick. I mean, that's a little bit ridiculous, man. I'm getting a shot so I don't get sick. Now I'm gonna get sick and plan no, on so, it. So, you know, I'm I'm really wondering exactly what the future is gonna hold. What the future is gonna hold for, um, the the future of the kids. I mean, are we gonna be homeschooling forever? I mean, I I know there's some states that have gone to school. Some some places, the kids never stop going to school. Um, so, you know, there, you know, this whole thing's debatable and we know this girl, Maya, she went on spring break for college and she went to Florida and there was a huge gathering there. I don't know if those, I don't know if the COVID spiked up then, but they you know, they also talk about this herd community, mass herd community. I'm really not quite sure what that is about. It's exactly um, what it says, man. What do you Re- think? Reggie, do you know what that's about? A little bit, man. Herd community means, I mean, if you get everybody vaccinated, then the chances of getting the COVID is probably lower because it's already in the community, in the herd. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, I think if people, yeah, you know, if, if they get enough people to get vaccinated, then we can probably beat this COVID, COVID virus. And 
that would be a very good thing because then we could get we could get back to normal. Although you know, people still go to the grocery stores. People still go to places like uh, you know the lumber store, like you know places like Home Depot or Lowell's. Uh, people still go to all the the department stores, the, the malls. But you still have to wear your mask, and the mask is a very big thing. So. You know, when people say they want some normalcy back to their life, I, I suppose what they're talking about is is when they can actually not have to wear a mask, where they can actually go out and feel free, you know, free to, you know, liberated or, or whatever the word is. But, you know, this is something that people want. I'm not sure what the future is going to be, though. Um, you know, like I said, are we going to do homeschooling forever? Are these masks going to be around forever? Is the COVID going to be around forever? I don't even know what happened to the regular flu. Man, funny um, you bring that up because I'm going to tell you, you know, you know, before I used to hear thousands of people would die from the regular flu. Now, all of a sudden, the regular flu don't even exist and it's all COVID. I you, mean, I don't even know what's going Reggie, on. Reggie, this is a bit ridiculous. Reggie, do you know what, what does what, sort of what, bother me? What bothers you? I know you're going to tell me. I know you want to tell me. So why don't you just What bothers tell me? me is, you know. What? You know, when we bring it back to the um, riots that were going on a few months ago, and, and some of them still are going on. True that. Are, 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 is the COVID cases going up there? I mean, are people keeping track of this? Because I'm, I'm not sure if those cases are going up or, or what exactly is going on. I don't know. You know what I heard? I heard wherever those people be writing, you yeah. know, nobody be getting the COVID. So maybe oh, people should now, write. You know, know, when, it, when it comes back to technology, because, you know, like I told everybody, today we are outside. We are enjoying the weather. It is so, so beautiful. I, I can't believe what a great, gorgeous day it is. I mean, you know. I, I, I can see these purple flowers and the bushes, and there's actually some bees flying around. A.K.A. bugs. Reggie, calm down. The bees Jesus. aren't even near you. They are near me, man. I can see them flying around me. <laughs> you know, and I know they're probably going to sting Reggie, me. Reggie, what? Because that, that's exactly what bees do, you know? Uh, I've been Reggie, stung. You know I've been stung before. I know you don't like so bees. I don't like but bees. Why are you? What why I'm you? saying is... Oh, my God. You know, it's, it's a well, nice what are you thing. saying? What? What? What are you well, saying? Well, we obviously know who... Mm. <clears throat> who uh, what, what, spit is it not a nature kid I'm here. I'm definitely not a nature I, kid. You know, Reggie, I don't think you'd, you'd make it camping. I wouldn't make it. I don't want to make it camping. I want to make it in a hotel with You know, a Reggie, when you go pool. camping... What? What? Um, you, you know, when you go camping, you what? can actually... What? What? I uh, see a lot of things. You can go swimming in a lake. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Climb a I, tree. I, I want to see TV. I want to see my video games. Cook food over an open fire. How about a stove? Stove is a lot better. Why do I want to be, be... Sleep in a tent. A tent. Reggie, <laughs> is there anything you do like about camping? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Do you know what the word nothing well, means? You know, Reggie, we, we don't go camping in a hotel, so... Good. I, I like hotels, so well, we, what, we, we what go... What does a hotel ho have that you like? Pools, kazoozies, I mean jacuzzis, um... Room service. Reggie, this is what the whole show is about. You know, it's like we are the technology generation. Yeah, so live up and to it. And maybe this is something we have to get out of because <clears throat> nope. it seems like what? we, you know, our generation is really dependent up on technology. And I noticed the older generation. I mean, you ever notice when you go outside and, you know, if you look, in people, look at people driving by. They always have a phone in their hand. Man, good for them. They're keeping up with technology. Jeez, man, what you want to be out of touch, man? That's why you got a phone. You know what Reggie, I'm saying? Reggie, you really think people are going to be born with phones in their hands? What, what are you serious? Man, I hope they got phones in their hands and maybe maybe video games on their back. You know? I mean, if you really want to put it down, I'm gonna throw it down. I'm gonna say it's what you call evolution. Evolution doesn't happen like that, man, Reggie. How you know it don't happen? No, like that. Reggie. No, it could you, Reggie. Like you're that. being confused. <clears throat> no, I'm not confused. No, Reg I know. Stop, I know what I'm talking That's about. I know what I'm talking about. Evolution, but. I don't yeah, think whatever. Man, what? I don't think uh, biomatter bio um, matter does and matter. Technology can ever be combined. I mean, we'd be like a cyborg. Man, you never seen movies. It happens all the time in the movies. You really think being a cyborg would be cool, Reggie? I, I don't know if that would be cool. I don't, man, of course it's cool, man. We almost have cyborg well, anyways. We yeah. got pacemakers. Yeah, they're, they're we got pacemakers. artificial hearts and all that all that good yeah, stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we have that. And You know what else we what, got? All right, you know what, Reggie? What? I, I may stand corrected. However, do you ever think what? that the human soul or the mind could be downloaded into a computer where the computer could actually have a consciousness and take on the role of a artificial human being with a soul. Now that's what I'm talking about, man. Now you now you see now we on the same wavelength, man. We on the same wavelength. I, I knew there was someone yes, you and me. You know, you Reggie, know you, you bring up a lot <laughs> I, I I can't argue with you, Reggie. You bring up you do bring up a lot of good points. And I'm I'm really surprised that you actually Yeah, okay. All right. I, I I'm gonna have to give you some of that stuff. Times two, man. So you know, we we just yeah, you know, we wanted to talk about kids today, the past, present, and future. So, you know, like our dad's in the past, we're in the present, and we always wonder what the future is going to be. 
And which brings us to the end of our... Man, what are you talking about? This ain't the end of our show yet. Man, we still got, still got the words of wisdom okay, stuff Okay, Reggie, I was just kidding. Brings us to what, Reggie? The words of wisdom. <laughs> All right, my brother, take it away. Tell me what you got this week. Who would have known the world would be the way it is today? Nobody could have foreseen this 200, 300, 400 years ago, or even yesterday. But the fact is, there is a pandemic, and the pandemic is called COVID-19. We've been dealing with this for over a year. We don't know what the future is going to be, but we do know how it has affected a generation of kids. The kids today have been plugged into technology, and the world has been forever changed. We don't know what the future will be tomorrow, but we do know what the future is today. Today, we are huddled in caves like cavemen. Our world is technology. Will we ever escape this COVID thing? Will the vaccination be the cure? Will herd community be something that becomes a reality where tomorrow we don't have to worry about wearing masks. We don't have to worry about being six feet away in distance. We don't have to worry about what we say or do because we will have that herd community. In any case, kids today are missing so much. Parties, friends, school. I only hope tomorrow we won't miss as much because in a blink of an eye, you can miss everything. And life is precious and you only live once. And we always want to make the best of it. Oh, my brother, that was so, so good. I mean, I'm glad. You know, herd community is important, but now we this brings us to the end of our podcast, and now I'm going to pass the baton off to my brother. Take it away Thank again. you, Reggie, and that's going to bring us to the conclusion of our show today. I want to thank everybody for making us one of the number one international podcasts podcast. around the world. That's and everybody right, loves man. Us. You know, we, we get know. so much love and so A much love. Love. And Not we either. really love doing this. And we don't Definitely. see us going anywhere soon. Are you going anywhere, Reggie? I ain't going nowhere. Man. I'm going to be right here. Okay, doing, okay Reggie. Doing Anyways, show, you know what I'm saying? Um, I want to thank everybody again. I want to thank everybody, too. We will be here again next week. Next week. Live. On Pop City Culture. Culture. Join us. Yep. And have fun. Remember who you are. Be kind and affectionate to one another. Until next time, peace. Yo, man, I'm still looking for that cybernetic kind of human being man that'd be some dope stuff man half computer half human no doubt all right